Wow. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, well, happy Mother's Day. Um, let's mute that. You're sweating. I got so. I wish I could share. I wish I could share pictures in the chat. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so we do this thing where every night, every Sunday, we tuck the kids in, we come running in hot. And tonight, of all and, nights, like we were good. We were good all. Eh, we were good-ish. And I'm in the other room, just coming down the stairs from tucking Brian, and I hear crash. Shattered. I shattered how many how many of them? At least I have one left. <laughs> um, so well, thank God. It, listen, we can that's okay. We can replace those. Um <laughs> I think I know what I'm getting as a Father's Day gift. <laughs> oh my um, yeah, so I opened the cabinet as Brian's like, Can I start the count countdown? I'm like, sure. He, <laughs> He's like, he opens the cabinet, Ugh. or I open the cabinet, you go in the other room, and I go to grab the box of, let me see, what, what kind of thing is this? These are toasting flutes. But Julie's glasses are okay. They're fine. <laughs> well, thank God. Um, these are toasting flutes from our wedding, and I love them. Our Swarovski crystal toasting flutes. Mm -hmm. We only pull them out like twice a year. Um, on our anniversary and sometimes on Valentine's Day and not even always then. So once one to two times a year, we pulled these out and I said, oh, well, tomorrow's our anniversary. And you, you know, we had the idea. We'll, we'll, we'll get into all of it anyway. There's a lot of things. happening. <laughs> um, so I go to grab toys and boots and as I grab the box that they're in out of the cabinet, it knocks like all the other glasses out and it just shattered everywhere literally guys with a minute and 30 seconds as our countdown is going so hey how's it going guys happy sunday thanks for joining us happy mother's day happy mother's day to everybody out there um if you're a mom if you're not a mom if you're anyone under the sun it's a special day for anyone who cares for anyone else because i mean that's what a mother is all about um are we are we are we good are we like settled now it's been, I don't know, a minute or so. <laughs> I like those glasses. Uh, listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about your glasses. I can get those glasses replaced. These would be mad at me for replacing. So, um. uh, Let's say hello <laughs> to some people. Uh, Emmanuel Field on his way back. So hopefully you guys make it. Drive them traveling safely. Cruise Nuts are here. Hello, Cruise Nuts. Uh, Mary Ellen Dillon has joined us this evening. How are you? Uh, let's see who else do we have? Josh and Amanda from Have Is Luggage. This a Julie World Core or travel. Core? After that, you can have whatever you want. You just have your bourbon over there. I'm just having this here. Mike and Maria have joined us. Cheers, everyone. Pour your pour your drinks. Hi guys. Hi everybody. Uh, Fields, Mike and Maria. Braden McLean, thank you for joining us from Indiana. How are you? Nancy Fields has made it in with us. How are you? Hey, See Nancy. you in a few days uh, you guys are packing like we were today mm -hmm. uh sean is with us happy good day and happy mother's day to all you awesome mothers thank you for joining us and it is the moonlight mafia raid uh josh one day we're gonna get these kids in bed early and i'm actually gonna make it into your show instead of just we, watching we did have it on so. for a little bit yeah we, we, uh, we, was on. we weren't able to talk but erica is here hello nice to see you uh eddie lugo yo 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 brooklyn in the house what's up buddy um let's see i think that's who danny d has joined us how are you nice to see you uh cruising on the high seas here the hey high guys. seas who's that yes cruising on the high seas uh mom has joined us and again hey, Ma. happy mother's day mom <laughs> uh, happy nice mother's day you should have heard the crash here about 30 seconds before we came on Laura is here. Hello, Laura. How are you? Uh, let's see. Uh, cruising on the high seas says, should be asleep by now, but clearly that's not happening because I wanted to see some of my great cruising buds in the live stream. Let's have a great show. Hopefully we don't break anything else tonight <laughs> um, and we'll call it a win if that, if that's, uh, if, if, if that happens. It's good luck, um, right? It's good luck when you break let's glass. Let's see. Who else do we have here? Pretty sure. Paul is here. How are you, sir? Uh, good to see you. 
Julie Amos, hello. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, Danny D, did I say hello to you yet? Yes, Thank you said hi, Danny. Did. You can say hello um, again. I'm sure she won't let's mind. Let's see who else is. Oh, Desiree is here. Hello, Desiree. Nice to see you. Traveler Bus, good to see you. And I believe, oh, Cruz and Koozies have joined us. Nice to see you. Uh, I'm laughing. Sharon at C says, at least it wasn't the martini glasses. Well, if it was a martini glass, Julie would just collect a few more on the next ship. Listen, he broke so, one of my martini glasses the other day. Kevin broke one of your martini glasses the other day. Kevin, you, somebody did. Ah, let's see. Anthony has joined us. Hello, sir. How are you? Better at Bruce this. <laughs> from Ocean to Ocean. Hey, go back and watch the first show that we did last July. That one's a lot better. Uh, Tony Diaz, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, are you back from your trip yet, sir? Uh, nice trip down to uh, Bermuda there. Yeah. Uh, oh, thanks for joining. This is uh, I think this is Kenny. Nice. Thank you for joining us, sir. Coming over from Moonlight Mafia Raid. Uh, Tony G, 1975, is here. Uh, we have a lot of good people here tonight. We've got almost the whole crew back. We, we, some people were missing for a little while, and we have them all back. So we're very Listen, happy to see you. Everybody's got busy lives, man. We're all cruising. We're all. Uh, the Gaylers say, no need to get upset over broken glasses when you replace them. Get some special monogram glasses. Okay. Congratulations on your upgrade. They were special monogram glasses. <laughs> they were. <laughs> I always say I would much rather use a glass and break it than have a glass like stored away and never use it. Like that's what they're for. They're for using and enjoying and, and you know, whatever. So absolutely every time. Uh, um, let's see. Well, I tell you what, it is Mother's Day. So let's raise a glass to, to all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day. And uh, really? Are you fucking I, kidding me? <laughs> Oh, now? <laughs> well, I mean, I gave myself a Julie pour because you have bourbon. So. You're right, I do. But right, anyway. <laughs> Guys, happy Mother's Day. Cheers to you all. And double cheers to us. 13 years. Lucky number 13. If she makes it to tomorrow. <laughs> Please. I love you. Hmm. Oh, so I, I mentioned it for a quick brief second, and I know we're going to talk all things cruising today. Definitely all things cruising. But I just want to plug it really quick. Our candle in the back is our anniversary candle. Probably can't see it, but we're at number, we're burning down the 13th year now. Every year we burn another year down. It goes to 25 years. We do burn it every year on our anniversary, and we just burn it for one night. So we're burning it one, one night early this year. Yes, because to tomorrow down, night, tomorrow is actually our anniversary. Tomorrow night, we will be uh, running from softball to baseball to all these other things. And I'm going to be running around getting ready for our cruise. Packing and all these yeah. wonderful things because our next trip, we leave Thursday. So Thursday. next week, we will try to go live from the ship at our regular time, but we are going to be completely at the mercy of the uh, the internet service service on the carnival celebration, so it might be pop up lives. We might be live at regular time. I think, I think it's gonna be good. I've heard anybody, good Okay, of all you out there, anybody who's been on the celebration already, how is the internet? Yay! It's been Yay. pretty good yeah. from what I hear. I mean, um, we hear it's been good, but you know, I want to hear firsthand from the people in the chat. So you know, let us know. But. Uh, to make things easier on yourself, make sure you've got the uh, notification bell turned on. So that way, when we do go live, uh, you will get the notification. Just hit it right there. I know. It doesn't. I, whatever. 13 years. Aren't you Blaine laughing? says the internet was really good. No issues. Allie said the internet was great for them. Um, so I think we should be good to go. So if you want to see what's going on in the carnival celebration next week, we will try our best to come at you at around nine o'clock on Sunday night. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. So try definitely we're going to do our best to try to go live on Sunday night. Um, give or take. So if you have to watch the times a little bit, mm -hmm. we'll be posting on social media. So we'll be posting on our Facebook page and we'll try to post in the YouTube, um, community pages. Uh, just, you know, an update on when we expect to go live. Cause once we get on the ship, we might have a better idea. Um, but stay tuned because we typically go, we do pop-up lives we do. as we embark and as we, uh, you know, go on our travels. So we leave Thursday. 
So watch for pop-up lives between Thursday and our boarding Saturday. Which is what we want to talk about. And, and yeah, absolutely, definitely. That's what we're talking about tonight. But definitely we are our embarkation time is like 11 o'clock on Saturday, I think. So watch for those times of us Saturday morning getting ready and then maybe hopping off and then hopping back on as we're getting on the ship. Saturday, carnival celebration with three kids. So Nancy says she wants to teach it's our Mother's kids Day. how to play slots. So Nancy, no problem. We'll just drop them off with you. Uh, by the end of eight days, they should have it down. They'll be fine. Um, Nancy, we are so doing slots. And let me just tell you, I have... I, I've been I've been doing my research, so um, I need your help. I need your help to fill in all the gaps. Oh boy. So we are we are on it. Here we go. Uh, Blaine says he's just stopping in to say hi. It's been a long day traveling, so take hey, care. Blaine. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, Laura from Five Hungry Travelers has joined us. Thank you for the anniversary yeah. wishes. Uh, let's see, somebody else. Laura, are you guys doing camp mm -hmm. this year? Let me know. Oh, and Aunt Christine is here. Hi, Aunt Christine. How are you? Nice to see you. Hey, Aunt Christine. Uh, Allie says they will be on the horizon next week, but they board Sunday, flying down Friday. Hope you guys have a blast. Uh, where are you leaving at? Where's the horizon leaving at? Is that out of Miami also? Miami yeah. or Fort Lauderdale, right? So we want to talk about boarding. Yeah. Well, so we've noticed that when just, we do, yeah. you know, we, we kind of have our own little routine. You know, the routine changed a little bit with uh, some of the stuff that happened over the last couple of years with uh, all that the virus -y stuff and whatever. But I think things are mostly back to normal. So it is back to, and here's a piece of glass. Look at that. That's fun. I got it on the table. Yeah, how did you do that? How did it go from down there to up here? I don't know. Listen, stay on track. I don't know. Just stay on track. Uh, um, but yeah, so. <laughs> um, our, our boarding video is usually this is it, guys. This is live. <laughs> this, is, this is the real show. Uh, Laura says they dropped off the camp registration yesterday. Yay. Uh, Danny says, I'll be watching because she has Fridays off. Uh, Saturday morning, I'll try to watch and have a birthday party. Very good. So, yes, we awesome. will be and if happy you birthday. Catch, come back and watch on the replay because, you know, that well. is, it's going to be up there. But happy birthday to her. Yeah. Or him. Or is it like daughter. Daughter, their daughter. Their cousin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday to her. So, um, so yeah, so boarding. Let's hear what is your easiest boarding? What is your worst boarding? We're talking all about boarding today. Well, um, tell it's boarding? funny yeah, stories. Yeah. Let's hear. Yeah, let's that's what we want to talk about. Because I said mm -hmm. I thought you wanted to talk about like prepping, but you said no, you want to talk about. Getting on that ship. No, I wanted to talk about everything that we have to do with kids. Okay. And as a family. But you know what, guys? Does it really matter? <laughs> I don't know. No, we can talk about boarding. We can talk Cindy about Cindy says she wants to run into you and Nancy. Are you sure you want to do that, Cindy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. So listen, boarding, prepping. Um, everything we have to do with kids. Cause let me tell, okay, let's just talk about what we did today. Let's start there. Okay, guys, we leave in six. Well, no, I'm sorry. We board in six days. We leave in four. Mm -hmm. we, we fly on Thursday. Here's our plan. Okay. We're a family of five. Our kids are eight, nine and 12 and they're going to school on Thursday. We're picking them up from school and going straight to the airport. So today was a day of laundry um, lists and packing and prepping and the, the kids, they really hung in there. They really did. I made them lists, said, get the stuff together. And then of course we go over it because of the ages that they are. We we're still packing for them, but we make them do as much as they can. And we did, we like, you know, mother's day, we went, we went to church this morning, went to a nice lunch. And then that's what we did the rest of the day until I shattered glasses all over the place. Um, when we pick them up, we're going to go right to the airport. I, like we're, we're scattered beyond belief, like just trying to be as organized as possible. I don't know. Like, well, at least this time we're not leaving on a holiday. This is true. In the past, we have left this for cruises on Christmas day. We have left on Easter. We have, uh, we, we've done just about every, yeah, yeah. we've talked about that. Just about every poor parenting decision that you can come up with. We've tried it. <laughs> 
So, so the kids, I think for the most part, we have everybody's suitcase out. We have everybody's clothes that they don't need within the next couple of days organized and ready to go. We have lists of things that we're missing. Like Kevin needs a couple pairs of like shorts and he needs a couple of things. Um, you know, a couple of lists of things that I'm going to run out and do in the next couple of days <laughs> between work. Um, and then, so Thursday we're going to get, we're going to, and then we're going to be in Miami. So we're going to get on the, the plane. The kids, it's only going to be their second flight ever. We're going to go down there and we're going to spend the, like the, a couple days at Bayside in Miami. What? What are we laughing at? <laughs> so... <laughs> Our nine-year-old <laughs> is also, uh, we call him, we call him Little Chisel. Um, um. Yeah, other Kev, other Kev. But yeah, sir. Uh, I'll get, Kev, I'll get you some shorts too. We have a few more in the chat. They're going to have Howie Cruz across the back. Oh, we talked about this the other day. Um, we're ordering uh, custom Speedos hey, for you. Gary has joined us in the chat. Uh, sorry Stay for your tardiness. Stay tuned our spread job soon for... Yes. Anyway. Uh, Nancy has okay, joined yes. us. Uh, how Hi, are you? Nancy. Nice to see you. Thank Nancy, you. Nancy, you're us. in the last uh, video we just posted the other day. I don't know if you, you caught some of the hot tub. Uh, Trust me, it's flattering. Actually. You're fine. <laughs> yes. uh, Rob and Jan are here. Uh, wow, eight, nine, and 12. That's a handful. Cheers. Uh, let's see who there was. Some we were talking them in. Oh, Daniel, Daniel got always. it. Daniel Fields has joined us. Thank you. Uh, Thank so let's you guys. see. We did ask a question and we got some answers. Okay. So we have uh, Josh and Amanda said their easiest was getting on the dream back in July. We walked into the building and didn't sit down until we were on Lido. That's nice. That's very good. Um, our last time on Carnival was last year when we boarded the last Magic. April. Mm -hmm. And a year ago. that was probably our our worst boarding. So I'm hoping. Yeah, well, oh, I don't was, know. Well, that was that was kind of when you say worst boarding, I think you mean. Well, we signed up for an early, so we signed up for a very early check-in time, but yeah. our boarding group was much later, which didn't really make sense to me. So we, even though we arrived early, we sat for a very long time watching a lot of people get on the ship that yeah. showed up after. I mean, that, so that was that was that was had frustrating. Uh, and we Kevin's, drove all the way yes, that was. Yeah. I was already in a bad mood that day. Um, you know, you one of the things I love most about our lives, our live streams, mm -hmm. our live streams is the one hour per is week. That it's the one hour. It's the one hour per week that I know Julie's going to be nice to me. So I love it when you're all here. Stop. Uh, Kevin said, freedom of the seas. We had a suite and boarding was very nice. Oh, yes. Definitely when you have priority. Uh, special area with food and drinks. Smooth as silk. Breakaway was like going to the DMV. We weren't impressed and we had priority also. Boarding that breakaway in New Orleans was different. It was fun because everybody was there. But had we not known, like, half of the people in the terminal or been meeting maybe them. sure i mean because we had to wait but like i gotta tell you i didn't notice because we were having such a good time just like meeting and greeting and, and hugging and saying hello and whatever so you know what it's everything that you do is your own personal experience and i and i mean that from like you know even when you're in that aggravating situation where you just want to like whatever and you want to pull your hair out like you still it's still the best that you make of it and it still is what it is i i'm a firm believer Sorry, guys. I, I'll get off my soapbox. But, like, you know what? You worry about the things you can change, and you don't worry about the things you can't, and you just go with the flow beyond that. So, anyway, that circum those circumstances, then and there, I was having such a ball, and I wouldn't change a thing because, that. I mean, we got time to just meet people. So, I thought that was cool. Our, our Sorry, last, guys. I, I think our easiest boarding so far in, in recent history was the, uh, the Oasis last June yeah. in Bayonne. Even though we had a little bit of a hiccup with that, uh, with Isn't that, there always a hiccup? It was a tiny little hiccup. Yeah. But um, by the time we got up to the, uh, we we did we checked our documents, all that stuff, and they said, okay, head over there. And I was expecting to head over in this direction and sit down. 
and we walked over and some guy scanned our carts and we walked on the ship. I was like, wow, this is this is great. That he was, almost forgot to scan. He almost cards. forgot to scan. Katie. So let's, yeah. okay. So part of what we're talking about tonight is like boarding and ends our experience because we are a family of five, right? So it's it's guys, it's different. It's different if it's if it's just you know two people or even three or you have older kids. We have younger kids, man, and they well, you there's know a kids question here in the chat. They're they're fighting on the way. We get there and they're hitting and pinching <laughs> and, and and crying and whining and laughing and joking and ha super excited and sh sh shrieking in excitement. Um, all of the above as we're getting to the port, as we get to the port, as we're waiting in line, as they're scanning our passports, as, as we're doing everything. And I remember, like, I, I kind of want to go back and re-edit some of our previous boarding videos because I was, some of our earlier videos, I was a little bit nervous about, like, the kids, like, literally, like, eh, 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 and you, you catch me and I do just enough of me being like, guys, knock it off, you know, because it's Mother's Day, let's face it. You know, we're in charge and we got to be like, uh, and the kids, they do mouth. They don't have the same patience. They're kids. They don't, they know they're not adults. What do you have? Do you have glass in your hand? Yes, I do. Well, careful. Can we take, oh boy. Anyway. Yeah. So, you know, it's definitely a journey with kids. All four of them. <laughs> Three of them upstairs in bed and this one. That hurt. Um, uh, I was looking for a comment. Uh, let's see. They're so excited. It's so fun. It's when, so fun. Wendy Johnston has drive, uh, joined us. Uh, let's hey, Wendy. see. Uh, no, I was looking for Mary Ellen asked us what boarding group we got, and I was trying to remember. I was trying what to boarding group it. we have. Yes, yeah, so I was trying to look at it. I don't even um, know where my phone is. My phone is not here because. <laughs> Julie's doing. Oh, this so we're catching up. Julie's doing thirteen on her fingers. It's funny. Just wait till you hit thirty years. So we're gonna have to. Yeah, that one's easy. It's like gang signs or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Laura's here. Still, uh, Gary, Mike, Maria, da, 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 da. let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Cindy asked a question. All right. Do you let your kids go off on their own? First time back June 30th, going with my girls, grandkids, 17 and 15. This will be their fifth cruise with me. Great question. Because we're right in the midst of this. We're going through this now. We're figuring it out. Um, our, like we said, our kids are eight, nine, and 13. I think he's 12. Um, it's right at 12. I'm, I'm getting a call from Aunt Christine. Hi, Aunt Christine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my phone and I'm on my watch, so I can't really answer right now. <laughs> but I promise, nights, I, everyone. I promise I'll get back to you. <laughs> no, um, I hope everything's okay. What did I say? Who's what did out? I do? Who's calling out what sick from work tomorrow? I, I don't know. Um, no, so our kids are right in the midst of that, that, sorry. Yeah. I said 13. I don't know. I'm thinking, uh, um, yeah, eight, nine and 12. So it depends on the ship. It depends on the comfort level. It depends on where you are and what you're doing. Like the first, very first time we let Brian, who was our oldest and he was 11 at the time, maybe 10, like almost 11, but, or 11. And we were one deck away from the buffet and we'd gotten back to the room and he didn't get like a dessert. And he's like, I really want a cookie. And we let him go. We were right by the elevator too. We let him go up the elevators, go get a cookie at the buffet, come back down, right back out of the room. And I remember how uncomfortable we were because we're, you know, like it's just like, you know, mm -hmm. and it kind of grows from there. So you kind of like test your waters. And then when we were on this last summer in June, Cause I think that was on, that was on last April. That's what that was when he was going up to get the cookie and back. That was magic. Yeah. Because when we were on last June, we were letting, we were at the pool deck and we were letting them go over to the mini golf course yes. and then come right back. And they had to check in. They had to keep coming back. We knew exactly that was the only place they were allowed to be. And that we, we were not moving from where we were. And there was more than two of us, but there was at least two yeah. of us. So if one of us, like one of us would always be there and we were letting them kind of like go there and back. So it's a really good question. I mean, it definitely depends on, you know, the responsibility of your kids, you know, they, their maturity level, because every kid has a different every maturity level. Different. You know, one 10 year old can be very different from another 10 year old. One 15 year old can be very different from another 15 year old. 
So, you know, like gauge these things. There are other ways too that you can communicate. So if they do have cell phones and you want to pay for at least just the, the package, not the whole internet package, but you can do diff different lines have different options for being able to text um, using Wi-Fi or using the online app. So sometimes that's an option. Um, Walkie talkies are another option. There's, there's a number of options to be able to be in touch. Some people are using things like air tags, like Apple air tags mm -hmm. and, and things of that sort. So you know exactly where they are. There's a lot of options out there. I don't have an exact answer to say how old or, or you know, when you let them run off or, or do what they want to do. But I think she said seven, did she say 17 and 15? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> First of all, be fine. the teen clubs and everything. I mean, like they'll let you sign in and out and whatever. And 17 and 15, I really feel like as long as you feel that they're responsible and they're going to check in, they're definitely at an age where they can go around the ship and just be able to check mm -hmm. in with you when they need to and know how to get in touch with you and know how to find you. It, it totally depends on the kid and, you know, Bri only being 12, but we know what he likes on the ship. We know where he's going to go. Right. And he's kind of got, he's proved to him. So he's proved to us that he can have a little and bit of freedom. So as we're talking about this, I'm just thinking, cause we've been in all of those Facebook chats and we've been in oh, all, those, yeah. we've been in one-on-one -on -one conversations with other people. Mm -hmm. Guys, listen, we're sharing our experience judge and um, form your own opinions as much as you want. And please, you do not have to go by what we say and you don't have to approve of what we say. Take it with the grain of salt that it is and know that these are our experiences and our feelings and you're here watching us. So, you know, <laughs> Ali, Ali, had, um, Ali had two comments. Here. We so hope that it's valuable. Lawson. We hope that it's valuable. Oh, <laughs> Christine. <laughs> I always love you, man, Christine. She's like, I wanted you to find your phone. <laughs> I have no um, idea what it is. It's probably upstairs. It's maybe on the counter in the kitchen. It might be in the living room. I don't know. It's fine. Julie <laughs> said she didn't let her son go off on his own until he was 14, but she caveated that with 12 and 13 was COVID. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Allie says that she allows, uh, allows um, no, I allow my son, 12, 13 next week, to go off on, but he has to tell me where he's going exactly. and have his phone on him. He's a good kid. Yeah, our, our bra is the same way. And then, uh, and you know what? Like, I mean, at least us as parents, and I, I could imagine most of you out there too would feel the same way. You know, you give them the response. They have to prove that they're they're worthy, but that you know of these responsibilities. But then, if they do anything where you find out that they're not, you just revoke those privileges. Mm -hmm. So you know. Yeah. Uh, Amanda says Our they let ours go at 12 and 13. They are now 13 and 14. We text them all <laughs> the time and drop in on them and lay eyes on them even more often. Exactly. So, yeah, I mean, uh, let's see. Chris says, oh, see, hey, Chris, thank you for joining us. Hello. Uh, when our daughter was 12, we, uh, we told her she could do whatever she wanted, uh, but she had to eat dinner with us and could not go into anyone's cabin. Pure. That is a That's good a role. great rule. We would definitely have the same role. role. Absolutely. Nobody else's cabin. Under any circumstances whatsoever. Yeah, I like that rule. I agree with you. Um, and I think, too, we would have the same rule, too. Dinner with us always. We always have to eat dinner with us. Um, you know, it's still a family vacation, and we want to see them, and we want to be with them. Although our, our kids are funny. Our kids, <laughs> what did Brian say today? He was like, we're not like most kids, Mom. I was like, you know, what? I can't disagree with you more. Our kids are yeah. their own. Yeah. They beat to their own drum. Um, yes, they they want to be with us. They really oh, do. Yeah. Like, about, we're like, guys, don't you hey, want to do this? Hey guys, don't you want to do that? We're going to drop like, you no, off in the kids' club and mommy, mom and dad are going to go to dinner. No, we want to stay with you. I was like, can we go to dinner one night? And they're like, hey. no. But that's okay because I, I don't mind that. I want to eat it. <laughs> no, I want to be with them. It is a family vacation. Uh, <laughs> Ford Man is in the house trying to show some love and support with both my YouTube channels. Thank you, sir. I love it. Thank you so much. Let's see. Julie says, I threaten my teen that he, he is, if he causes any trouble, he will be stuck next to me from then on. Listen, mm -hmm. you caught, if, there, if there's an issue, let's see. This is good tonight. Yeah. See, yeah, we, and we talk about this a lot. I, yep, I parent, even on vacation. That's what you it's say. It's not time, cruising yeah. with kids. It's just parenting somewhere else. 
exactly it. I wouldn't have it any other way, though. Tony says, I have a 23-year-old autistic son who will not leave my side, and my daughter was also at this stage with my wife. You know, I, I, so, I Tony, it. we can't wait to sell with you. I'm, you know, with some of the work that Julie does, uh, we, we, we just think I it's going to be, it's gonna be so much fun uh, cruising you. with you guys. We can't wait to get on a ship with you, too. Funny that we live, what, like an hour from each other and can't get on the same ship. So we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> no, that's we'll, going to we'll happen. It's we'll going to happen. happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, let's see. Gary says, we let our kids go on cruises by themselves. More power to you, sir. <laughs> Listen, that's actually. I think their kids are older. I, uh, I know, but I was just thinking. Man. Just kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. What, I'm what, kidding. What, did, what, did, I'm kidding. what did Bryce say earlier today? He said something, or and I, I said, you know, you can, you can pay for your own cruise, and he shut up real quick. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about like okay, what, what's our topic again tonight? I don't know. You were talking about boarding the ship. About boarding the trip. Day. Yeah. Destination fun has so, joined us. Hello, how are you? Can we talk about when we got on Oasis last year? Okay, we get to the we get to the ship. We had the key. Uh, we got the key on Royal because we didn't we didn't have status yet, and and we're like we wanted to try it. We also were like you know what this is you know we, there was a number of reasons, but anyway we digress. Um, we go to get in line. And because we had kids with us and this was still during the tail ends of like the COVID policies and procedures and extra precautionary measures, um, the kids didn't have the stickers to set on them to say they're vaccinated. So we walk past the entire line that's really, really, really long because we have the key. You're supposed to get priority boarding. So you go up and everyone else that has the key or priority boarding goes up to the front of the line where they have a special line for the priority boarding and people with the key. And we go up there and they go, I'm sorry, you have to go to the end of the line because you have kids and they need stickers. Oh, and where so we're like, bad. but we paid for the key. Mm. So part of the reason we paid for the key is so we could have the priority boarding. I mean, one of the perks. So that was a little frustrating. However, we, we, we rolled with it. We were really good. You know, like things happen. You have to roll with it. It's vacation, like whatever. We went to the back and it didn't take long. It was fine. It was totally fine. Um, and then we get to the front. Not only did they not give us the stickers that we were supposed to have, and then we get to the front anyway, and they're like, where are your stickers? And we're like, they said that we didn't need them back there. It was funny. Anyway. So funny is the word I use too. <laughs> we get to the front, we get on the ship, and it was other than that, it was super fast, right? Yeah, oh, we get, yeah, once we, get we got on, up. we get through, we get right on the ship, and we're not on the ship three seconds. And Kevin just has a gusher of a bloody nose oh, yeah. out of the blue, and it lasts for like 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. These are the things you have to deal with, guys, when you're traveling with minors of a young age, <laughs> like, and it's like. And you have your bags and you have your backpack and you have your carry on. And yeah, you checked your luggage, but you're like, oh, and then you have two other kids who one wants to get pizza and the other wants to get ice cream and the other saying, where's grandma? And, you know, and you're, oh, man. <sighs> Nancy says, I feel like boarding goes much better since the pandemic. And I think oh, you are 100 percent right. Yeah, so, I agree. Uh, your first cruise was in the 90s. Mine was in 2003. Our first cruise together was 13 years ago. 13 years ago. 13 right. years ago. Hey, uh, look, it's a good thing that I did four years higher than mine. Yeah, that. well. You don't even like Prosecco and you're trying it. 13 years ago, our first cruise. And I remember some of those cruises that we went on. It was a mad rush to get to the port first. You, I mean, and you got there, and you wanted to be the first one to check in. Well, wasn't everybody? You and then not, not everybody. But actually, there were no, but. but there was no, there was no app. There was no checking in on the app. You just showed up at the port, and you showed you had to hand hand your documents. And they had <laughs> Remember to, when they had like the internet cafes, and you'd go and you pay for a couple of minutes. Them, no, 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 no. I mean, like you would go and pay for like a couple of minutes to log in and check your email. <laughs> Yeah, but it was very different back then. It was not, and you know, a lot of these, a lot of people that have only known cruising post pandemic only know about having the apps and online check ins and all these things. And um, it's it, it was very, very, very different. So I agree one hundred percent with you, Nancy. Yeah. Any anybody who's complaining about 
boarding processes now should should jump in a time machine and go back about 15 years and give her a try. And then uh, you'll be a lot more thankful for how things go at all these sports. So that's why you'll never catch me. You know, I might get upset some of these times when I see like a long line or something, like that, but still it's way, 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 way better than used to. A couple of months ago, I started watching from the very beginning, the love boat. Oh, yeah. Guys, if you want something fun to do, go back and watch. That was funny. I mean, if you're a seasoned cruiser, if you're a first time cruiser, don't watch the love boat. It's going to give you way cut where you're no, it'll now. Be, it won't make sense. Yeah. But if you're a seasoned cruiser, go back and watch the love boat. How funny, how funny, how funny, how funny um, to see the difference. Eddie has joined us. Hello, Eddie. How are you, sir? I mean, I know it's still TV, but still, it's so funny. Um, what else can we say about like boarding with kids? The, how about getting on the ship and you still have, a, I mean, everybody goes on with at least a carry on and a backpack and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then try well, there was a comment up here uh, and actually it was Allie's comment. So they, so we, we mentioned we having the key. She said they had uh, faster to the fun. And uh, the one advantage they said, um, again, I can't find the comment. It's buried in here, but they said having, not having to uh, carry around their luggage yeah. um, was a huge we didn't take advantage. We had that with the key. We didn't take advantage of it. We didn't check okay. our. No, we didn't. They had that little check in your bag, extra bags, like your carry on well, or whatever. We checked in. We didn't. No, no, we checked in our regular luggage, but we didn't use. Right by the dining room, they had that extra check in for your yeah, carry on. We didn't. We didn't. No, we, we didn't left use something that. There. No, I we thought didn't. we did. We didn't. I thought we left something. I was still carrying my backpack because the backpack had everything in it. But, but you were carrying the camera bag. It's not your backpack. Anyway, I think you're mixing up cruises. <laughs> Nancy says our first cruise, my Hannah was exhausted and overly excited. She was massively crying when we boarded from having to wait hours to get on board. It's, she does better nowadays. So, uh, Jewel, you know, we talked about it. Was it last week in our top in our top moments, or was that two weeks ago? Whatever that was. Mm -hmm. um, is 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 that vlog up yet, or are you still working on that one with Katie in Central Park? Is that vlog up yet? That's an old one, Brian. Gosh. Listen, we have stuff from last year that's not up yet, so I always gotta <laughs> check before I talk about something. That was when we boarded Harmony of the Seas. That was Harmony. Oh, yeah, yes, that was Harmony. That was Harmony that of the Seas, which was I'll like be, I'll be over here. Boarding Harmony of the Seas, check it out. Katie completely and totally melts down. She crawls up in the ball and she curls under the uh, under the bar, like on the outside lip or whatever. And <laughs> she's just melting. And the boys are like annoyed with her. And I'm just like, I don't know. And some lady's like, you just need a tequila shot. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, Gaylor said, when I was 16, my parents went on vacation and left me home because I had summer school. I did have family keeping track of me. Probably wasn't the best decision they made. I feel like it's like a, uh, what was that movie with uh, Tom Cruise? Risky business kind of situation maybe <laughs> happening there. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. What else do we have? So while you do that. Uh, Daniel says they have priority boarding, but not showing up till after 11. So we don't have to wait around. That's uh, that's. Do you, I, I mentioned this earlier. We kind of like, we kind of slid past it. Um, I said, you know, it doesn't everybody like boarding early. And then I realized I caught myself. I was like, no, everybody doesn't. Do you like to board early? Or are you one of those people who like to board a little bit later, get we not have to deal with like the rush of everybody trying to get on the ship and not have to jump right into everything and kind of like to kind of like stroll in towards the end of boarding time. I definitely like to get on. I want to maximize every bit of time I can get on the ship. I like to get on early. Uh, Tony said they were on Liberty and Bayonne in 20 minutes. Nice. Deportation is a whole. You were deported? Yes. <laughs> Does anybody No, else... we had we so... had a really bad disembarkation from Carnival Magic. That one was bad. They told us there was a customs we issue. About it I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, does, we had this conversation earlier today. I, I'm curious to know what you guys think in the chat. I think of every of all the lines that we've sailed. So I can't speak for, we haven't been on Virgin yet. And we haven't been on some of like, um, although they're the same type, like the same parent company, Celebrity and Princess or oh, with like Royal and Carnival. We have a request. Um, but what, who do you think does the best boarding? Personally, I'm going to share it right up front. I'm not even going to wait. 
Personally, I think Royal is the fastest and easiest and quickest and the easiest check-in and the easiest from, from get-go to done. I might be biased. I don't think I am. I really think that Royal is the easiest. Um, I think that Carnival second, and I think that Norwegian is third. What do you guys think? Who's the easiest to board? Who's the easiest for embarkation, for checking in, you know? Nancy what says, I got? totally love your debates on the live streams. It's something I do all the time. <laughs> we talk about what we're going to talk about, and then we get these ideas in our head, like, oh, yeah, that's going to be a great topic. And then we sit down, and we talk in front of the camera, and we're like, no, we don't agree on that. <laughs> then I, I get kicked under the I table. No, what you're talking about. <laughs> um, kick count tonight is very low for anybody keeping score at home. That's we're, because I'm we're, sitting cross-legged, and I, I'm not, I can't kick you. Because I don't want to put my feet on the ground because I broke glass all over I've the place. Been, Punched a couple times, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Nancy, so excited to cruise and hope you hope to feel better than the North. Yeah, I hope you do too. That was that was unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Chris says, I'll never forget our first cruise in 1992. Our cabin was nothing like Love Boat. We were shocked to see a closet with a bed. <laughs> yeah, a little, little, little different, right? Um, let's uh. Rob and Jan say, smash the thumbs up. It tastes like Prosecco. It does, uh, especially if you hit it hard enough or multiple times or for multiple accounts. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Kevin was talking about their first cruise. I missed his other comment, but he said, I just remember being, oh, because they said they took three hours to board in Puerto Rico. Just remember being exhausted because we got married the day before. Didn't get to our room until 2 a.m. Was up at 4 a.m. to fly to Puerto Rico to catch our cruise, but we were young. So, Kev, we were we were that was that was our trip to the the Pride of America. We had the 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 wedding, we had the the reception, we had the after party, we had late night pizza at the after party, um, and then the flight from Newark to Honolulu left at like six was, or yeah. seven in the morning or something like that. Nonstop. Um, so so we left the, the we morning. left from the the reception hall or the uh, the hotel or. Uh, whichever at at very very early in the morning, and then uh, yeah, what was that a what was that a ten hour flight or something like that? It was uh, it's eleven eleven and a half there, and it was like thirteen back or vice versa. Um, oh, so moving back, Nancy says she remembers that video with Katie. <laughs> Sorry for you. Uh, so it's so hard when you're trying to have the perfect family vacation. Listen, the perfect family vacation is any vacation because. It, all these things that we talk about, all these, you know, these, these, these issues, you know, look memories. back to last week and everybody's like, memories. everybody's like afterwards, they're like, oh, you talk about all these, these bad moments, but they weren't really bad yeah. moments. They were just things that were like, this is what happens in, in life. They just happen on vacation. <laughs> and so let's talk about what we got coming up. Let's, let's, let's transition this from what we have experienced in the past of them. Because they're a little bit older. I mean, they're always getting a little bit older, right? So we leave in a couple days. We're going down to Miami. We're going to spend um, a day and a half down in Bayside, down in my, uh, downtown Miami. We're going to experience, we've been watching videos galore to decide what we're going to do. We figured it's going to be nice and easy. We'll be down there. Then we board the ship on Saturday. Super excited. Family reunion group cruise. Uh, we're going to be with a bunch of others. Um have luggage will travel, of course, and um, huddle adventures and traveling mannings and uh, I'm, I'm very behind <laughs> a bunch of others, um, and then just other people. Um, anyway, it's gonna be a great time. Cannot wait to be there. ABC cannot. We've been to Aruba. We haven't been to Bonaire or Curacao. I'm a little nervous to go back to Aruba. Why? I can't wait to go back to Aruba. Well, the last time we were in Aruba, we discovered something called Aruba Arribas. <laughs> and after we discovered Aruba Arribas, we discovered we also didn't sleeping like at the pool and and, we and so massive gone. sunburn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. Um, so we, are, we are very behind, far behind in the chat, but it sounds like uh, the general consensus is that it's 50% Royal, 50% Carnival as far as the easiest okay. boarding. And nobody thinks that NCL is the best boarding. However, everyone seems to agree that it depends on your loyalty status and on which port you are in. That's true. Yeah. I think that goes for everybody. Yeah. 
Um, I'm excited for Bayside. Anybody else like to go to Bayside before they get on a cruise? Uh, we're, we're, we're staying nice and close and we're going to go, um, over and just explore. And I mean, I've been there a number of times. I even celebrated New Year's Eve, the ball drop and everything down at Bayside before. And just a fun, very touristy place. Number of different places to eat, tons of things to shop. Um, now we haven't been there since they put in the big Ferris wheel. We were talking about, you know, is that something? Has anybody done what do they call it? Sky View? <laughs> I just can't tonight. It's just <laughs> broke his cork. Anyway, um, has anybody done the Sky View or the big Ferris wheel down in Bayside? Um, wondering if that's that's something fun that we should try or not. And but like, dude, packing these kids the and getting on the plane. And then we're even thinking about like, is, if it's just me and Bri, you know, you don't have to worry about eating or, or dinner or like whatever. Cause like you're, you, yeah, can, you can get through. Has a question for you. I'm going to answer. Mary Ellen says, where is Bitside? Oh, good question. So downtown Miami. Um, what do you me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> downtown Miami. Um, by the port is Bayside Marketplace, um, and it is just an outdoor mall, right? Uh, it's got a ton of restaurants, and it's got a food court, and it's got lots and lots of shops. And apparently it's, it has a mojito bar, according to Kevin. It Kevin. definitely has a mojito bar. It's got, it's got like the mojito kiosk, right? And it's got the whole... Um, daiquiri bar too except anyway <laughs> it's got a ton of things like it's got something for everybody it's got an outside arena where they play music starting at like noon all the way into the evening and it's live free um music and people are dancing and there's street vendor like entertainers you know what i mean like the human statues and like whatever and it's just a fun place to go. You can see the cruise ships for wherever you are. There's other like boats that go in and out that like you can like hop on for like a little like night like sailing or something. Right. Or Chris sailing. says Bayside is a cool place for dinner before a cruise. A now we place, said yeah. we said we are going to take our kids to dinner there. So let us know what is yeah. your favorite place in Bayside. That's a great question. To eat dinner now. There's always there's always the Hard Rock. We think the kids love the Hard Rock. Uh, Julie was trying to pitch. Times, Julie was so. trying to pitch Bubba Gump to them, but I don't feel like dying, so I don't know. If I we're think that do our that. kids might just like the food court upstairs because they can get whatever they want, and I can just go to the mojito or the yeah mojito the, the daiquiri bar or the mojito bar. Robin Jan, <laughs> I'll have a liquid dinner. Robin um, Jan said, "You two are too fun." <laughs> You should cruise with us. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but but really, I think that if you're leaving out of Miami and you're going in a day early, if you, you, it's so worth checking out Bayside. It's such a fun place. There's something for everybody. Um, somebody asked me the other day in one of our vlogs where I got my big flop, floppy oh, yeah, um, sun Bayside, hat. I, I got that in Bayside like 15 years ago, and it's actually it's it's definitely weathered. If you saw it up close, it definitely needs to be replaced. So one of my goals is to actually look for a new hat while I'm there this this time. Um, uh, Mike and Maria said the last time they were in Miami, they went to Little Havana. It was great. Good food, great coffee, and many cigar shops. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I haven't thought of is if I'm bringing a cigar on a celebration or not. I haven't decided. I don't think so. He, every cruise. I always talk about Every it, cruise, right? he starts talking about cigars again, and then he always goes, nah, I don't want to nah. You keep going back and forth. I, I do. Because I, it, it depends on, because if you don't get a good cigar, my throat's bothering me the next day, and then it's just not fun. But if you get a good cigar, then it's a nice night out. It depends on who, you know, it takes some time to smoke a cigar. So it depends on who you're sitting having a cigar with. Because you don't want to have a cigar. Oh, I don't want to So it depends on who we're sailing with and if they want to have a cigar as well. So I don't mind this, like us smelling a cigar, but I don't like the elongated smell of a cigar. So like, yeah, if you're crawling into bed next to me and you stink like cigar for like the next like 24 hours. I don't like so that. Mary Ellen says he hadn't been there, but uh, usually I'm traveling solo. So usually stay close to wherever the hotel is so that we are staying this time in the holiday. We're Inn. staying in the holiday. That Inn. is yeah. across the street. 
from the directly across the street. Like, yes, I've stayed there before, and it's a, it's a, you know. And, so and we we looked at staying at some other places, but then we knew that we were going to be there a full day early. So to get around, we were thinking we'd have to Uber or taxi. And when you're doing that type of thing with three kids, now you need an Uber Excel, which costs a little bit more money. So we said, you yeah. know, what, we're staying. Walking I was just going to say that, like these are, and we've talked about this in, in previous videos and lives. These are considerations that we have to to take into consideration when we're traveling with all five of us, like just to go anywhere or to do anything or whatever, like wherever we park ourselves, really, it has to be where we park ourselves or we have to take into consideration if we're going to go or do anything else. We're going to be doing this with three kids who don't walk far or we have to, yeah, get a bigger Uber or we have to do whatever. So we actually decided, I think I decided, but um, I haven't had a lot of because we love trip. Bayside and it's it's all inclusive, right? There's there's also like a CBS and like Publix and everything else. No, no I, I didn't mean it isn't all inclusive. It, it encompasses everything that we might possibly need, right? So there's food, there's coffee, there's entertainment, there's like you know we can keep the kids busy being there. So that's important to us, and we're not going to have to purchase another Uber to and from any place. We're not going to have to purchase whatever extra The good stuff. news is Kevin said they did Margaritaville and then Hard Rock and drank the rest of the day. That sounds like a fantastic plan. <laughs> Nobody, did anybody <laughs> mention anything? I haven't been watching the chat. No, did anybody mention anything about doing the Ferris wheel? Did anybody no, do that yet? It doesn't sound like it's, it's, it only was like put up uh, like 2020. Daniel says Bayside is where COVID. Don Johnson docked his boat in Miami Vice. He is actually correct. That is absolutely uh, true. Uh, the Z Show has joined us. How are you, What's sir? Up, How are you? Uh, Kev Seconds, Little Havana, Versailles Cuban restaurant is amazing. Uh, Chris said they had dinner once at Bayside. Land Shark, there are so many options. Yes, there are. Uh, Nancy is a fan of South Point Piers. Very fun place to see all the ships sail away into the horizon. Uh, we definitely can do that. Uh, together We Travel has joined us. Uh, let's see. So I think the, I think the kids are going to like eating there. I think they're going to like... I, I My favorite thing about Bayside, actually, is just the entertainment. I love that they have the live music. I love that they have that whole like outdoor arena with like the the stadium, kind of like those cement, like stadium seats. Very, very cool. That's what I'm looking forward to. Just kind of being able to hang out and then be, of course, like right across the street from a hotel. That would be nice. You know, you know, Daniel, I saw that. It said uh, at Bayside, you can do tons of water excursions right from there, boat tours and everything. I saw a bunch of those. And Lots of boat I was tours. thinking, so we're coming in on Thursday. Um, we were able to get There's an evening. Yeah. So, so nothing's happening we're Thursday. We're going to have dinner for the kids. They'll be fine. Guys. Um, we're picking it up, up from school, going straight to the airport, which is a smaller airport. We board at like four, or, or we board earlier. The flight land or leaves at like 4.50. So we don't get down to Florida until like 7.30. So we're talking like prime, like leaving school, snackish time, dinner time, whatever. They're going to be so hungry. They're going to be hangry. We're going to have hangry kids. I'm going to have to pack yep. some serious snacks for that plane. Yep. One more. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, let's see. But, yeah, so we were thinking about that. Like, so what do we do with them during the day on Friday? So that's why we found the the, the new Ferris wheel there, the sky view. But so what, the maybe, they, maybe, maybe a water be. excursion might not be a bad. Oh, I just got an idea. Brace we'll yourselves. We'll talk about that later. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, Kevin no. says... I have to say that while it's we fell in love with Miami again. Yeah, you know, I, I like Miami. But, so the last I like time, Miami. I like Southern Florida better than I like Miami. Do you remember the last time we were in Miami together? No. The Carnival I mean, yeah, Carnival sure. Liberty. Okay. How did boarding day go for the Carnival Liberty? I don't know. We had Brian and Stroller, that's all I know. Yeah. So I was trying to be helpful. Oh. We had a whole bunch of us with us. It was it was us, my, my, your parents, my parents your my sister, sister, my niece and nephew, and your aunt. And we were all trying to get so your 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 her brother in law and I are trying to get all the bags. So we're waiting. We called the the shuttle. We're trying to get all the bags from inside the hotel to outside the hotel. And what is one thing that you are allowed to carry in your carry on only in your carry on to board a ship? Bottle of wine. 
and I'm moving bags and I'm moving bags and I He's taking bags out of the car and throwing them on the ground. Kind of like happened just before this live started. <laughs> so we're even. It took 13 oh. it took 13 years people but we're even. <laughs> he shattered the wine bottle was in in the carry-on. He throws it on the ground. The wine bottle shatters in the carry-on. But wasn't that big a deal that it shattered the wine? Who cares? You can replace the wine. But it shattered in the bag <laughs> with everything else in it. That was a great start to a cruise. What did we even do? I don't even remember. I don't even remember. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. Walk, walk through security. It was that See, bad. Is, we blocked it out. This is 13 <laughs> years ago, like before security. She probably just walked onto the ship carrying a bag, dripping red liquid out of it. No, no, nothing to see here. <laughs> I don't know. You're right, Mary Ellen. Yeah, spring sandwiches and snacks there for them. Is. I'm going yeah. to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to do something there. Uh, let's My watch see. is reminding me that it's Mother's Day. Oh. Thank you. Uh, let's uh, see. What else do we have about this upcoming cruise? Um, yes, wine. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh, Daniel says, My last Miami was the NCL Encore. Uh, Missed the comment about four espressos. Must have been flying after drinking them. Uh, soda crash. New no, broken wine bottle. Yes. Uh, yes, it was messy. And Amanda, we probably utilized the laundry service on that cruise. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. Actually, we did. Because that we yeah, because we went it they had the self-service laundry on the Carnival Liberty. Oh we yeah, but then we didn't use the the no the not the service. service. No. No, but I actually like I don't mind going in and doing my own laundry. I mean I don't really want to, but if I have to, then it's we did pack laundry. today and we did tell the kids to pack enough underwear. And an extra one in case something breaks in the suitcase. I don't think that's what you said. Okay. Um, Amanda's already making plans for laundry service on the celebration. I've considered. I was after packing today. I was considering it. I'm like, Maybe seriously. Just drop stuff off at there. Guys, let me tell you. With five, like, even just planning enough room in these in the car, or getting to the airport, or the Ubers from the airport to wherever we're going, or the shuttles from where we're going. Every single one of us, like the kids, all have a carry on size suitcase. You, and then we have larger suitcases, and then we have our actual carry-ons and our personal bags, and you have a camera bag. Can I tell you how much luggage we have as a family of five? I mean, yeah. And it just seems to get more each trip, because now we're adding new camera gear, and we're adding... The question is, are we, are we bringing our own snorkel gear? And we have it, and I want to. Because I think we're silly not to. I mean, I always, I always, I always have. Doing. But you know, we'll see. Anyway, all depends. Anyway, we digress. All um, depends. I don't mind bringing on one extra bag as long as we don't have to pay for it. I don't want to pay to have to check it. But if we can bring on, if we have have it to be able to bring, I say we just bring it. We can carry it. It's not a big deal. So we shall see. We shall see. We'll let you know uh, when we check back in with you next hey, Sunday. Can I ask a quick question? I mean, I, we're still it's your live. You can okay. ask whatever questions well, you well, want. I, I don't know. Like, we're going to ABC, right? Aruba, Bonaire, and Carousel. Anybody in the chat who has already been there have a very favorite thing that they did in any of the islands? Any excursion or any just type of thing that they did that they were like, man, that was awesome? If you've been there, um, or is there something that you really, really, really want to do if you do go there? Let us know because, you know, we have ideas, we have plans, but we're always open to hearing what other people have, have to say. So Rob and Jan said they do carry on for every cruise regardless of life. That's impressive. And and you're my new best friend because that's the way we should, that's the way it, you got to figure it out. I can't do that. No, I hate checking luggage. I, hate I will be able to one day. I hate checking I'll luggage. be able to one day. But just uh, like Kev says they brought snorkel gear for the past two cruises and didn't use them. We, but aren't we, you happy that you had it? I mean, isn't it better to have it and not use it than not? It. Yeah, but isn't it? But what if you want it and then you don't have it? See, now the difference is, is we we looked it up and just about every place that we've considered going. I can't believe you still finished that, and I'm still where I still have the box. Crazy. I made thirteen years. I'm trying. Yeah. Um, every place that we've looked at going, snorkel gear is available. The difference is, is that when you're traveling with three kids, 
Okay. It's not 20 bucks. Even it's if it's not 100 And you bucks. can't just send them out by themselves, too. So even if it's no. you can't do three, you have to not, at least do four. Not in, the, not in the ABC Islands. Maybe some of these like private islands in the Bahamas and stuff like that, we can sit on a chair and let them go off on the beach. Well, yeah, but, depending. But yeah, yeah. Uh, destination funds. Uh, oh, thank you for joining us. I didn't say we could see you guys yet. Thank you. Uh, started using air tags on our luggage so we could track it. We did that on our last we did, cruise. We did air tags last time. And that was uh, actually. Oh, We can get some more. Yeah. We can get more. Another expense. There we go. Um, but yeah, no, that was that that was that was no, we don't one. have to get more. We could just say Yeah, but I'm paranoid now. So so Kev says yes, it is nice to have these snorkel gear. Let's wrap so. it around too to we keep talking about like we, we keep talking about prepping and whatever. So today is Sunday, guys. It's Mother's Day. Tomorrow's our anniversary. We have a baseball game tomorrow. We have two no, games. Soft, softball. A softball game tomorrow. Softball tomorrow. Two games on Tuesday. Baseball double. double we baseball. have piano and gymnastics on Wednesday. Yes. In the meantime, to be you, fair, you we don't have any of this stuff. This is all the kids. Yeah. Well, what we do have is we still have to work every day up until the cruise, up until we leave. Um. So. And we, you know, we got a lot of the packing done today. I haven't packed any of my own stuff. You, you have piles and all three kids have their piles. I still have things like duck tags that I want to do. Oh yeah. we get to um, So like little odds and ends. And of course the house is just upside down. So I'm going to want to, I don't, I can't leave the house mess. So we're going to have to straighten up the, the, the house. See, that's what I love about these, these are The, things that we the have only to do. part of the house that's clean is like from the camera, like here, like out on that angle, like. Basically, if you if you well, were to look, from, glass if you were to look, no, yeah, we can't we can't stand behind us right now. Um, no, it's not that bad. Fortunately, the dogs um, are in their crates. Um, we got a couple comments here based on your question. Yeah. So we have so, a lot to do. Before Rob we go. and Jan said Curacao just enjoy uh, just walk the town and enjoy Aruba an Island tour or a good snorkel excursion Eagle Beach. Which we looked at Eagle. We looked at Eagle Beach. Uh, Bon Air climb Bon Air snorkeling beach? on the old ship. Can't remember what it was. Uh, an old tie ship, yeah. Bon Air. What's the other Palm I'm, Beach? Palm I am, beach? I am, I am a scuba diver. Julie is not, and um, Bon Air, I believe it is. I believe it is against the uh, the religion of the of the uh, of the scuba diver to not at least snorkel or scuba in Bon Air. Uh, so we will have to figure that out somehow. Uh, Kevin says they always check their bags. Uh, even check our carry on at a gate since we have to get our bags anyway. Uh, but with the airline credit card, we get a free bag. Yeah, that's that's important. If you're getting it for free anyway, definitely, definitely worth checking it. Uh, Nancy says, Luggage is always something that comes in handy, especially those four wheel ones. Yes, I've tried carrying my clothes on without a suitcase and it, um, <laughs> it didn't go very hey. well. I was dropping underwear as I walked down the, the, the uh, never mind. That was the, that was. Before. Where was the first time I heard this tip? And Nancy also says happy anniversary. Thank you. So first time I heard this tip was somebody, and I don't think it's anybody in this chat, but there was, it was actually, I think it was a YouTube video that gave me this tip and I've never used it before, but have you ever used this before? If you need extra carry on space on an airplane to fill a pillowcase with your clothes or, or extras that are squishy that whatever and carry it on as a pillow like you're gonna sleep on it. I thought that was a very, very good tip. And it's always stuck in my mind. I haven't needed to use it yet, but I thought that was a very helpful thing because everybody's been in that situation where they could use just a little bit more more space. Uh let's see we got a couple more comments here. Uh where'd it go? Um, mm, 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 mm. Uh, Cindy says, but air tags, one of my grandkids' phones. I'm putting That's a great place to put them on the phones. Yeah. Um, our, yeah, our phones have the, the location, so that, that works. Yeah, but yep. on, on the grandkids' phones, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's a great idea. Uh, Wendy says, man, I remember those days being so busy with the kids. Like, yeah. It, you know what? We keep saying it. We're like, oh, we're so busy. We're so busy. We're so busy. But you know what? With Bri being 12 and Kevin and Katie being 8 and 9, there's only so many years of it left. So I'm I'm trying to take the advice of everybody that says, oh, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. And just kind of, that's why we look so tired. 
Speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, Bonaire full tour, Aruba, Palm Beach taxi, Curacao walk up for Is that what you guys are doing this trip? That's, that's good to know. We'll make sure we connect with you guys. Uh, Julie, uh, a different Julie. This is a, this must be Julie number three. Because we've got Julie, we got you, we got Julie Amos. I don't know if Kevin's Julie is here, uh, but we get some, like 17 Julies. Uh, we'll be diving on my next trip to Bonaire. It's supposed to be amazing. Yes, it is supposed to be amazing. Bonaire is supposed to be uh, very, very what good. Are the, the uh, Klein is the best snorkeling. It was a guided tour. We did swim between the coral reef from the beach. Yes. That, that, you know what? That's the reefs are supposed to be very reachable from, from the beaches, which is good. Um, we looked at the Jolly Pirates. We thought the kids would love it. It looked really good. Um, but, uh, exactly. <laughs> I was one of your friends. What? The 17 Julies. <laughs> <laughs> or at least that's what I assume you're talking about. I was, I was reading my mom's text. The, the goats have not gone into labor. Uh, they're in labor, but they're not having goats yet. Uh, mom's, mom's goats are going to have babies. The Julie says, all the Julies are cool. I, I just love being in a... a uh, you know, group of Julies. I've never known a lot of Julies. Like Julie's never been like a popular name run. So now I got a now I got like okay, a your little Julie circle. Maybe you should maybe we you should, should form. You should organize the Julie cruise, the Julie group cruise. Julie cruise, come on, girls, let's go, let's do this. It looked like it looked like the girls just want to have fun. Cruise went really well, so maybe there's a market. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about the, jewelry, uh, the clothing, not the jewels. Is it is, is a group of jewels a bag of jewels? The bag of jewels group cruise. There the jewels you, group cruise. The bag of jewels. There you go. All right, there's something definitely in the works here, guys. It's definitely. Julie says, "Sign me up." Uh, let's see. Chisel said, oh, "That was their oh their honeymoon." Okay. Uh, Philip said the Jewel Cruise. There you go. And you know. And On Jewel of the Seas. Jewel of the Seas. <laughs> Maybe you book it with uh, Will G. Well, we've already got Will G going on. Uh on Jewel of the Seas. We'll have to get the, maybe you go on with that you one. Know? Uh, Cindy says she is changing her name to Julie. Uh, can, can You're welcome to, she, to join. Yep. Jan yep. would yep. like to be part of the, the Julie. It's, it's What was that? It was Julie, Julie, Julie. Julie? Julie. Was it, oh, no. Yeah. Tony, Tony, Tony was in the 90s. Yeah, but there was a Julie, Julie, Julie song. Was Julie, there? Julie, Julie, Julie. Yeah. There's a Julie song. Julie, Julie, you just sang, Julie, you just, Julie you, do you love me? That's it. You just sang Julie, Julie to, to money, 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 money. <laughs> I know. But I, well, see, see. see uh, no, Julie, Nancy said, Julie, 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 Julie just want to have fun. Love me. Julie, uh, Julie, Julie, do you care? Yeah. Okay. No, something like that. Uh, yeah. Wendy said, uh, "Okay, then my name's Julie now too." Um, Everybody, everybody. Oh, we'll walk around the ship and everybody gets a name tag that says Julie. Um, Jamie suggests uh, an Africa cruise down the Nile. It could be Jewels of the Nile. Um, yes. Actually, that was, a, that was a good movie. Was that in the 80s? Jewel of the Nile? Remember that movie? No? no. Jewel of the Nile? That was a great movie. Michael Douglas and... Mm. How do you know this stuff? I watched a lot of TV as a kid. Um... All right, everybody's changing their name. <laughs> Nancy called me out too. She's just singing, she's singing it to the money. money, money. <laughs> Listen. Uh, I like it. Is that where we should kind of? <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. There you no, go. there is a Julie song though. It's Julie, Julie, Julie. Yes. See June, see June Wilder. June Wilder. John Wilder. Yes, that was Jewel of the Nile. We're watching that movie. We're watching it now. Uh, Scott McNeil has joined us. How are you, sir? You missed a lot. We probably all wish we were with you missing a lot. Um, but thank you for joining us anyway. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it, we've been going for 71 minutes, yeah. which is, which is Guys, much we longer than we... Uh, a super busy week coming up. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited. It's yes, going to go... Dan I oh, Daniel's right. Jewel and I was the sequel to Romancing the Stone. That's right. Oh, yes. I know. I know. I know. Romancing the Stone. 
And I don't know Wendy you know. wants to wear all tons of costume jewelry. This, this, all right. This, this is in the works. This, this is in the works, guys. Happening. I'll start a Facebook group <laughs> and we'll, we'll just chat about it and we'll figure it all out. So <laughs> hold on, though. We Jamie do have says, to... I'll take famous jewelry for a 500. <laughs> well, nobody, nobody's famous yet here. <laughs> We're barely at 1600 subscribers here. So, <laughs> so if you do enjoy what you're watching tonight. Please don't, 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 if you, you if you enjoy what you're watching tonight, what the hell no. is wrong with you? No. Uh, <laughs> um, no. So listen, Kathleen Turner. That's who it was. You go hang out with Nancy in the casino. Every Me time I try to wrap us up, you just start jumping on another comment. You can keep Sorry, doing that, I'm but good. then you're going to yell at Every, me that everyone, we went so long. Everyone, stop, this is what this is. Stop, this, this is what happens, guys. Stop commenting, please, so we can take a nice step. <laughs> no, out. don't stop commenting. We love your comments. Please, please keep them coming. You just stop commenting. Anyway, <laughs> happy anniversary to us. I love you. Mwah. 13 love you. years of wedded bliss. <laughs> wedded bliss. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. But we have a super busy week coming up. So I'm super excited. It's going to go by in the blink of an eye. Literally, we got more packing, stuff to prep, stuff to pull together. We're going to get on a plane on Thursday. We are definitely, definitely, definitely going to be going pop-up lives. So if you, seriously though, if you do want to see us go live, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you have all notifications turned on. Right, there's on. two different notification bells. Make sure you have it all, all we, notifications. We've missed other people's live a lot because we didn't have all notifications turned on so turn on all notifications if you want to be alerted even if you turn it off later when we go live in the next couple of days um as we probably get to the airport as we're traveling with these kids our crazy stories and our antics and you guys will get to see it firsthand because there's no editing when you go live definitely when we embark we always go live when we when we go embarkation we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to try to go live next Sunday night, guys. If we don't see you, we will definitely be posting. Um, and we're super excited for this cruise. I mean, it's been it's been a hot minute. The kids haven't been on since last June, so they're mm -hmm. definitely itching. And they're also a little excited because they are getting to miss a couple of days of school, which we don't normally do. They, nor they don't miss too much of school. Um, but th it's the end of the school year. They have really good grades and haven't missed any other days. So, so we'll let them have it. Yeah, so. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you in the pop-ups on Thursday, Friday, whenever we uh, – Thursday, Friday, and Saturday will be probably pop-ups and hopefully Sunday. So follow us along. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. And thanks so much for sticking around with us, guys. We'll see you on the seas. See you on the seas. <laughs>